Making your own envelopes is really actually very easy and it really allows you to play with color and pattern and customize your envelope so it makes that note that you send even that more special. It's also a really good way to upcycle things like catalogs and magazines and make some really funky, fashionable envelopes. And once you've created your template, they're actually really easy to just whip out. To make your envelopes, you're going to need some text weight paper. So this is a medium weight. And I like to use some decorative paper for a liner. You also need just some scratch paper because we're going to be gluing. I like to make my templates using existing envelopes that I like the shape of. And then we'll make the actual template out of any kind of lightweight cardboard, something like a recycled cereal box or cracker box is ideal. You also need a glue stick, a ruler, and you can use a pencil or a bone folder for marking your edges and making your fold. You could also use the back of a butter knife if you need it. And last, you'll need some scissors. Every envelope has its own lapel shape. That's what this flap is called, its own lapel shape. So that's specific to the company that makes the envelopes. I just happen to like these ones, and so I want to make my templates based on that. There'll be standard mailing sizes for whatever country you live in. In the United States, the smallest mailable size is a four bar envelope. So you want to make sure that your envelope isn't any smaller if you're going to mail it. But of course, you can make a tiny little envelope for a gift enclosure or to put on a package. We'll just take any one of our envelopes that we want to create a template for and carefully open it up. You want to tear them open and try to keep all of the flaps intact because that's what we're going to use to actually create the shape of our template. If we rip it, that doesn't matter. So this is what we're going to use to make our template. There are already folds here in the cracker box. I'm just going to ignore those and we're going to make our template and just know that those aren't the folds for our template. Just lay it somewhere on your chipboard or cardboard, and you're just going to trace the outline using a pencil. It's a very thin piece of paper, so if you draw up into the envelope, that's okay. I'm just holding it down where it's prone to pop up. And then I like to make little notches just at the corner so I remember that I need to actually draw some fold lines there. So those are my notches. I want to go ahead and show where those fold marks are going to be before I cut this out. So it's mostly from corner to corner. This is going to be pretty standard. And you can take your bone folder and just with the tip make a score mark there. This is so that your template folds easily. You don't have to do this. You could avoid those score marks because this isn't, you're not actually making this into an envelope. But I like to do it. It's a nice visual reference so that I don't forget a step when I'm actually making my envelope. And I'm just going way beyond, starting above and going way beyond there, just so I get a nice clean score. We're going to carefully cut this one out because this is our template and we really want to maintain that outer shape and keep that consistent and clean. This is my lapel up here. I might just want to make sure that that edge looks good. I have a kind of a wonky pencil mark here, so I can also turn it over and just make sure that the silhouette looks right, which it does. If you are going to be highly confused by that extra score mark, you can also just kind of make a note that that's not important. That's not part of our envelope. That's just where the cracker box was. And then if you want, you can actually fold these just to give you a sense of how this envelope is going to come together. If you wanted to make this into a mailer, you certainly could. You would just glue it up like you would an envelope, and then this would actually be the mailer. It'd be nice and sturdy. But we're actually going to use this as our template. So once you've cut that out, you can go to your text weight. The size fits on an 8.5 by 11 just really nicely. And we're going to do the same thing. Trace it. The reason we make this template is because this is thicker and it's much easier to trace. It's also going to last us a much longer time. If we just took one opened envelope and tried tracing it and making multiples from it, eventually we would really distort those perfect edges. But with this cardstock or cardboard, it's going to stay nice and crisp and last us a long time. If you need to put those little marks where you know you have to score at the corners, you can with your pencil, but you don't have to. 
We're gonna make those score marks from corner to corner, just like we did with our cardboard template. And again, you're gonna cut this out. And you can cut multiples at once, but you'll have to score them individually. You do wanna make sure that you, especially on the lapel or the flap of the envelope, that you're really paying attention to that cut so that you can get that really nice curved shape on the flap. And that looks good. We're gonna go back to our original envelope and see where it comes together, how it's folded and how it's glued. You can see that the side flaps come in first and then the bottom flap comes up. And if you'll notice right here, you're not gonna put glue because if you did, it would glue to the inside of the envelope and then you wouldn't be able to get a card in here. So we just wanna make sure that we have glue here and here. And you can easily just use a glue stick. You wanna make sure that you've got your lapel up. This is the top of your envelope. You're gonna be working on some scratch paper and you're gonna go ahead and fold in those side flaps. You can use your bone folder if you like to help you with those creases. The bottom flap is gonna come up like this. Hold on one sec. One that's like off just a bit. Okay, your bottom is gonna come up like this and we're gonna be applying glue to the inside right here. You can just use a glue stick for this. You don't have to use wet glue. I'm gonna avoid that middle section because that would be a glued to the inside of my envelope. Get down into the corners there. I'm just gonna place this up, press. And then you have this nice tidy envelope. You put a stamp on it and pop it in the mail. And I made a few others here in different sizes. Using a business envelope or a number 10 and that little baby enclosure that we talked about. So you can make a myriad of envelopes. You can use magazines and upcycle catalogs and things to make really cool envelopes. Now if you wanna add a liner, which is a way to add a pop of color or a little bit of pattern in an envelope when someone opens it. I'm gonna show you how to do that with the template we just made. Your liner is gonna come, if you, if you look at this guy, this has a different shaped lapel, so your liners are gonna be particular to the shape of your envelope. You wanna mimic the shape here so that it matches the lapel. You just wanna drop it down about a quarter to a half of an inch. And if I open this up, you can see that it just comes down. It doesn't cover the inside left and right or this bottom flap. It just tucks into that main portion of the envelope. So we can go back to our template. This is our top. I'm gonna use a decorative paper here. I'm actually just gonna flip it over so I can't see my pencil marks. And I'm gonna draw my lapel shape. So that's my lapel shape. And then I'm gonna come down about a half of an inch. And this is actually where my liner will start. And then you just need to draw down, straight down. You can use your ruler, you can eyeball it. And you usually only need to draw down about an inch or two. You don't even have to go to the bottom of the envelope. So you're making like a little house shape. That's what it looks like. So I can just go something like that. Cut this guy out. You can get more than one out of a sheet. Carefully around that corner to retain the shape. Again, we're gonna use our glue stick, working on the wrong side of the pattern paper. And you don't have to glue the whole thing. You can actually just glue the edges, which is pretty cool. If you do glue the whole thing, you can potentially get it stuck in the envelope before you have it in the right spot. Just gonna slip this in. You can see the corners, this little tiny corner here and where that's gonna go. Place it inside and press it down. You can score this, if you're working with a thicker pattern paper, you may wanna just score that line where it's gonna fold. And then you've got a sweet little envelope with a printed liner. 
Hi, my name is Livia Chetty. I'm a floral designer and a paper flower artist. I have recently just written my first book, The Exquisite Book of Paper Flowers, and I was a contributing editor at Martha Stewart Weddings for about seven years. 